So, I don't know how to start this. Hi, my name is Justin. Hi, my name is Michaeli. Holy crap, and here we go. So today we saw the movie That Awkward Moment, starring Zac Efron and Michael B. Jordan and what's the guy's name? Miles... Miles something something. Something 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 something. It's a buddy comedy with some romance elements. Each one of them is trying to not be involved but be involved with different girls. Did you like the movie? I love the movie. Did you? I did. I could get lost in Zac Efron's eyes. No, he is hot. He's beautiful. He should call me. Please, call me Kaylee. Call me. I do commend them for trying to find someone that is more attractive than Zac Efron to make Zac Efron look like the number two guy sometimes. Michael B. Jordan actually did an excellent job. And I have to be very honest, I have a very raceless libido, but Michael B. Jordan did it for me. Some scenes though, he did look a lot like um, Mariah Carey's husband. What Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. But Nick Cannon with Flynn Rider Smolder. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we learned, every woman walks in alone. Yes. She is incredibly sexy, mm -hmm. and she has great shoes that you can comment on. And, and willing to talk to anybody. Absolutely. Even that Miles guy. That's what I honestly was thinking about, is he was definitely the least attractive of all of them. I mean, you're, you're fine, like I'm not like, but you're next to Zach and Michael. I'm sorry, there's very few men on this planet that could, you know, yeah. play ball with that group. They did a lot of side shots, and then you could see his undefined jaw. So then, do you or do you not have a fallback girl for when your date does not come home with you? No, I don't. You Which don't. goes to the larger point of this. I wish I had the life of most of the people in this movie. That's I why wish I thought I it was had, very unrealistic. I wish I had this New York dating life of whoever these three guys are. I guess I should look like some of the guys in this movie. We should say, uh, I guess, about you. About me. McKaylee. Uh, McKaylee and I know each other through mutual friends. No. No, we don't. What do we meet on? Tinder. Tinder. We met on Tinder. For those of you unaware of this amazing app called Tinder, for the either you're in a relationship, good for you, you're, uh, what, under 18? Well, there's got to be an age limit on this thing, right? Oh, no, I no, don't... no. I've seen like 14 year olds oh, on there. Oh, God. Yeah. Please don't. They just don't, lie and say they're 30. Why so... don't? Don't. They're predators. That's really not good for you. That. Just don't do that. Yeah. Or if you live in another country that thankfully doesn't have have an app like this thing. Um, it's basically you look at pictures like you would in a bar and you decide whether or not you think someone is cute enough to talk to. And if they both say yes, then you can talk to that person. Right. So we've actually not met until today. No, no. Like five minutes ago. Yeah, literally uh, like, yeah, today. Yeah. So I thought this would be a great awkward moment to share the movie that awkward moment with. This is why I it's want- It's like pure torture. I want, no, I want the dating world that they have in the movie because it apparently is because way Because it never easier. works like that because you know what? I am prepared to walk in and meet this 6'2", tall, dark, handsome hunk and I'm pretty sure he sent his lawn gnome assistant to come meet me first and that's who I end up spending two hours with. So it's hashtag story of my life. As the lawn gnome assistant. I feel <laughs> that we should make sure that it's okay if you're dating somebody who doesn't happen to be 6'2", tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, they talk about the, they're, they're the same height, oh so the God, torsos yeah. line up. Their, their yeah. crotches line up. His crotches line up, and he yeah. really likes that. They mention that in the movie. I love the way we fit together in bed, because we're the same height, our crotches line up perfectly. That's really good. We're the exact same size. We are the same size. Does that mean we should make out? You're sweating. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think our crotches would line up. Should we turn the camera off at some point in this conversation, I feel? <laughs> should we send the intern away? I don't know. Uh... You were really sweating. <laughs> we should be day drinking. It's Friday. Intern. Thank you, intern. Is there, I think there's some beer in the fridge, too. You want beer? No. No. I'm no gluten beer. intolerant. You're gluten intolerant? I'm gluten intolerant. Uh, it says pumpkin hard apple cider. Bingo. Do that. Free. Yeah, grab that. Yeah! Okay. I got it. Oh, 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 oh. Good host. It's Good doing a great job. host. Ready? Salute. <laughs> and good eye contact. Seven years of good sex. Now it's warm in here. Is anybody else warm in here? Is it just me? No? We, this point, we actually review the movie. In this case, on my scale, I'm going to give this a three out of five. This is that kind of movie that you can Netflix or b download on some way or rent. If you Can you rent things anymore now that I said it out loud? <laughs> Did you like the movie? Would you tell people to go see it? I would absolutely tell people to go see the movie. It is very aesthetically pleasing. I'll give it a five because they're hot. What? <laughs>
<laughs> Based on hotness, we're giving this one Here's a five. That hotness, Kaylee. five. If you still are wanting to maybe be a guest on the show, like Michaela was here today, feel free to email me at vashandjustin at gmail.com. Because yeah. if not, I'm coming back and then they're if, stuck with me. If not, she's going to keep coming back over and over again. I actually don't know if I'll be able to get her to leave the house this weekend. She might just stay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to realize why Vash isn't here if you watch this episode, and then maybe something that comes out on DVD, and please subscribe. Click and watch some more. Thank you guys. We will see you next week with I don't know who. That'll be the fun part. <laughs>